really wanna tell you that I still get goosebumps whenever you call Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Fan, and today, as you can see by the title, is my long awaited luxury handbag and SLG collection video. If you are new to my channel, I usually make like beauty, fashion, college vlog type of content because I am an incoming second year at Northeastern University, but I've been doing a little bits of luxury hauls here and there the past couple of months, and you guys seem to really like them. And this video has been very much requested both here on my YouTube channel and on Instagram, so I thought. I just finally do it. I'm not gonna be buying anything anytime soon during this pandemic So I just thought I'd share my current collection with you guys This is something that I love and if you clicked on today's video, I'm guessing you love these types of videos, too So if you're not into this whole luxury handbag thing click out We don't need the energy here without further ado. Let's just get in to the video So the first handbag I want to share with you guys is my very first Chanel and this was gifted to me by my mom this is a cocoa handle in a beige cream color with a vintage antique gold finish for the hardware and as for the top handle it is a lizard burgundy handle which i really love with this bag and it is quilted caviar this is the inside so we have a lot of space here we have a pocket back here and it's a zipper and another zipper and we of course we have the back pocket sorry that was really aggressive we have the back pocket and then of course a little strap to put it um crossbody and i love this strap i actually use it on one of my dior bags as well i think it's the perfect cream beigey color and all my bags basically have gold hardware anyway so it works with a lot and it definitely works with this bag anyway this is my very first chanel bag the next bag i want to share with you guys i actually bought about a year ago and this is my my mini vanity bag. This color is insane. I've, I didn't even know that I would ever see one in real life. I've seen these on Pinterest and Instagram, the bigger size, and I absolutely love the combo. I feel like it looks so just the epitome of Chanel other than the flat bags. So when I saw this, I got this in Seattle. I had to get it. So this is the smallest size. And I actually use this so much. Last summer, this was my everyday bag. It is just the perfect size for everything I need. It also has vintage gold hard Hardware, and I think I just <laughs> really like that finish so but one thing I do have to note is that you can't adjust or take off the crossbody so if this is too long for you it might not work because it is almost too long for me but I kind of got over it and it works but it's not detachable and it's not adjustable so that's the only downside about this bag I'm pretty sure everything else I love the next bag I have to share with you guys is my Chanel trendy CC in the small size I cannot tell you how much I adore this bag. It is in the smaller quilting. I know there's a bigger quilting that I've seen online for a lot of people and it has gold hardware, champagne gold, so not too yellow. And I love that there's a plate at the top where it says Chanel. This is an all time dream bag. The only bag I would ever just lust over if I didn't have it right now. This is my ultimate dream handbag from Chanel. It is my favorite. I love this bag so, so much. I have it in lambskin, so it is very delicate, but I use my bags like they're meant to be used because I mean, I paid for it. And I'm never gonna sell this. So anyway, here is the inside. We have a lot of sections. It holds a lot. We have two bigger ones and one smaller section with a pocket and a zip in the back. And then of course we have the three pockets right here. We have the lipstick holder and two pockets for any excess change and then the strap. So it comes with a strap that I can just poke into the top here and it's very easy to detach if I didn't want to have it. So I love this handbag. It's it could be compact if you want. It could puff out a lot if you fill it up. This is the perfect handbag. And the last handbag I have to share from Chanel is the mini Urban Spirit um, backpack. And it is adorable. I found this little mini one at Tyson's Corner in Virginia. She has the, the little top handle. I can hold this like as a purse if I wanted to. But of course, we have the backpack straps, which I put on the shortest setting. And it has a back pocket like it does the handbags, which I put... Like, like my key fob in here and it actually fits perfectly so the only downside i have about this bag is that no matter how much i stuff it it still seems to wrinkle on the bottom i don't know if you can even see how much it has wrinkled but i don't know it's just a little scrunched looking down there this is the inside it comes with just the main section and a back zip and then the drawstring kind of closes it if you want to but you just clasp it so yeah 
perfect. I love her. And the last Chanel piece I have to share with you guys is an SLG. I just have one. And this is the Zippy Coin Purse in Lambskin. So I bought this to match my trendy CC in London. And it is the perfect little Zippy wallet. I still have a lot of my uh, London things in here. I have like my stamp card from Gales and some other random things and some pounds actually. But uh, this has a burgundy interior and it has three sections it's perfect if it's all my cards i don't carry a lot of cash and it's perfect for just the few coins i usually have in here so this is actually so nice and durable given the fact that it's lambskin i thought i would have to be super delicate with it i was originally going to get something caviar for my wallet but it didn't match and i felt really weird just not matching the bag so we have this and it's super cute and it has barely any scratches on it with the amount of times i've used this and how rough i am with my things this is still pretty perfect i mean there's a bit of linting on like the zipper area but i can just take that off so anyway and if you're just looking for a quick small wallet, this is one of my favorites. Moving right along, the next brand I want to share with you guys is Dior, one of my all-time favorite fashion houses, if not my favorite. I have a lot of their jewelry, so if you guys want to see a part two again with accessories and things like that and shoes, I'll do that. But I just have a few um, handbags and small pieces from Dior, not too much. This was my first Dior purchase, my beloved book tote in the blue oblique from Christian Dior. I love this piece. At first, I didn't want to get it because it was so big. This bag is huge. This is my biggest bag. Like, I don't have any other pieces like this. It is gigantic, but it fits so much. This has been my travel bag, and I actually bought this little scarf to go with it. It's so my little twilly scarf, and it's also in blue oblique, but I actually just quickly tied this on the bag because um, I did get it to protect the handles but I use this a lot for my smaller bags and for a hair scarf as well. With the amount of times I've used this and how rough I've been on this bag it still looks perfect. There's no pilling anywhere and it still holds its shape even without like a shaper in the inside which I should probably invest in one but I think this bag just holds its shape so so well. They also have a small size now in the same exact color which I'm thinking about getting a small book tote eventually. I adore this bag. There's nothing in the inside. There's literally nothing in the inside. It's just very open, so that's why I get to like throw everything I need in here for travel. The next handbag I have to share from Dior. This is the smallest size of the Dior saddlebag. The new one, of course, they recently came back into style, I think two years ago. They started remaking their old vintage style, but this is a very small size, so it doesn't work under my arm, as you can see. Like, it's, it's, it's just too awkward. So I usually hold this in the crook of my arm, or I just hold it in my hand like this, or I strap on one of like the chains I have from my Chanel bags actually it looks amazing with the white chain I'll share with you guys in the mod shot but it is beautiful I love this bag and it has recently become my Aaron bag it has like the back pocket and everything which I don't really put anything in there and the inside is literally just a section and the reason why I opted for the smallest mini size is because the bigger one just looked too overwhelming on me like the shape itself is very unique so it's like the saddle shape but I feel like any bigger than this it would just look too odd on me again my frame is maybe i'm just used to mini bags i have a lot of mini bags so anyway i just enjoy mini bags way more so here is sh here she is and she has gold hardware and she's perfect so the next handbag i have to share with you guys is my one and only mini lady dior in this iridescent purple color i have no idea what the color is but when i saw this I knew it was too special to not have and the color is just perfect. It's like a shiny lavender princessy kind of purple and I love it. It has the champagne gold hardware and it has the flap opening. If you guys know there is a medium size to the Lady Dior's that has a zipper and it's actually super super hard to open. My mom has one and that's like the one thing she always complains about but it's a nice size. It just has the really hard to open area so I'm really happy that the small ones come with a flap um, open because it's just so much easier to access whatever's inside and I actually have the strap and a matching card holder inside so let me just share with you guys what it looks like first it opens like this and there is a zipper pocket I have a iPhone 11 Pro Max literally fits like it there's no problem it could fit in there perfectly there is no stretching and it has the of course matching chain strap the mini lady doers come with the chain strap and it's a little tangled right now but it's perfect it's not adjustable again but 
it's still the perfect length for anything I need to use it for. And as a gift to myself, I also bought a matching card holder. I haven't got much use out of it just because I haven't worn this bag too many times. It's just a basic Lady Dior card holder. And it just has the two pockets here and a big pocket in the inside. And it has a little keychain here as well. So it matches. The last two pieces I have from Dior are SLGs or they're not leather, but they're small little luxury goods. This is the compact wallet in the saddle so this is a saddle wallet and it matches everything about the saddle bag and i actually attached this little chain to it because it just looked really cute as a mini bag as well it is just a really nice size wallet i wanted something that i could put cash into all of my wallets are card holders basically so i don't have a wallet with an actual car uh, cash slot this is the only one i have and it's just perfect it fits all the cards i have and there's even a zipper pocket for coins there's a pocket in the back here anyway if you guys watched my london luxury haul you would have seen this already and it's still a favorite the only thing is that unless it's full it's kind of hard to like close so and finally my last Dior piece here is a little saddle coin purse and this is so cute if you guys also watch my London haul you would have seen this I bought this because I needed something to hold my coins I had so much change in London so I was trying to accommodate to that while also using my book tote so this straps onto my book tote perfectly the little D locks like this do you see that it unlocks like this so you just push it and it opens and it's perfect to strap onto the book tote um, or anything or even onto your keys and I think it's just the perfect most unique little coin purse ever and if it's basically just coins I mean you, I guess you could put other small knickknacks in here but I love this piece it's super cute and um, it looks kind of awkward but I think that's the beauty in it so the next two brands I don't have much of so I'm just gonna share them together but the first thing here is the iconic re-edition handbag from Prada I bought this at Selfridges and it was love at first sight let me tell you I saw this on like a Korean model at first and I was trying to figure out what the bag was called called but I literally don't even know the name of this bag I think it's just the nylon re-edition 2005 from Prada and it's again nylon it's supposed to be like a rendition of their original just uh, shoulder bag and I believe you can purchase these online now so I'll be sure to link again everything I can down below but this is my favorite everyday bag it just opens like this I've even worn this to the club because I'm not afraid of getting the nylon dirty because it could be easily cleaned and um, it's not like really fragile leather so I love this bag it's like an everyday kind of thing and it's definitely worth the price i got this for like 800 pounds i think but it's 1200 us and i think that's a great price point even if it's nylon it's just super durable and the style itself is super cute if you were really into the pochettes the multi pochette style from louis vuitton this was also a fan favorite and hard to get for a while but i'm pretty sure you can order all the colors online now as they restock it's super cute i love it the little pocket right here i put my airpods or change or cash in it and you can wear it crossbody you could take this off and just use it as a shoulder bag right here you can take the chain off if you want to or replace it with another strap there's just so many ways you can wear this bag and so many different looks you can kind of cater to this is perfect for the college age i feel like it's just the most versatile and modern style for everyday use the next brand i have to share with you guys is mcm and i just have a few pieces i wanted to briefly share i got my obsession from their campaign with exo back in the day and that was when i got my first piece here which is super jacked up it is so old but this is my um beige stark backpack she's very messed up i don't pay attention to this but I wanted to briefly share because I had this throughout high school. I used it as my everyday bag, used it as a travel bag. So she is messed up, but they've redesigned this bag since and it's a lot more sturdier that I've seen. So definitely recommend. And I actually have another backpack, which is not with me right now. It's actually in storage at school, but it's a black Duke backpack. I also got this one. I don't know when, but I got this little fanny pack at Nordstrom. It is the perfect little fanny pack i think it's super casual fits everything i need i use this a lot um, for basically everything it has a big pocket here a back pocket here and then a zipper in the back as well so it's just perfect i love this bag i got it in white and it's at a great price point of like 400 us so 
highly recommend this piece. I love this one. Now, the last brand I have to share with you guys is my largest collection and my first piece of luxury good, and that is, of course, Louis Vuitton. So to begin, I want to share with you guys my very first luxury handbag. I got this for my 14th or 15th birthday, but this is the Anna Clutch in the Ver Vernie, Renee Dune finish. Uh, I love this bag. It has gold hardware and it's just the perfect little evening clutch or special occasion bag. I still even use this as a special occasion bag. I wear this to church a lot and for dressier outfits, but it has a chain strap that's not detachable, but you can just tuck it inside the bag if you want to use it as a clutch. It also comes with a longer strap in the leather and it's perfect. Um, it's the perfect length. Again, it's not adjustable, but you can definitely crisscross it if you want it to fit shorter on your shoulders. So it is amazing and I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. You can't get this anymore, but you can find it on like the Real Real and Fashion File. The next bag I want to share with you guys is the Cherry Wood handbag. I'm pretty sure in the black finish and it has monogram all over and it's gold hardware. And this is the bag that I used for like summers and seasons straight just because my collection wasn't very large back then and I didn't have a lot of variety, but it fits everything I need. It just opens like this and it has a back pocket. The finish allows for almost no, like you don't see any scratches. You can see fingerprints, but you can easily wipe that away with a cotton cloth. And the back pocket is also very usable. I stick a lot of cards and papers back there, but this is the strap. It comes with a little bandolier strap and I use this for a lot of my other bags as well. So I'm happy that I have this with this bag and it's something that not a lot of people have and it kind of looks like a business little mini briefcase and I think it's super cute. You can wear it like this, you can wear it with a strap, throw on a chain strap if you really want to, and it's the perfect size and it literally fits everything I need. The next bag I have is the oh so famous pochette and this is the little small shoulder bag, pochette bag, and I actually got this very recently. It is a very hard bag to come by for retail price and the retail price just keeps on going up anyway and then people resell it for way more than it's actually should be and it has like the patina strap so there's really nothing special about this except for the fact that it's just a classic shoulder bag and it works with any outfit. There's literally nothing special about it but people love this bag. Anyway, this is just self-explanatory. We have here the also famous mini Palm Springs backpack from Louis Vuitton. I believe you can still buy these online. They restocked for the pandemic since you couldn't shop in store and they had both this and the reverse monogram and the other sizes as well in stock. So I'll be sure to link them down below if you guys want to check it out. And it's perfect. Again, this is worth the rave. This is one of my most used bags as well. Um, probably at this point, it's my trendy CC the Prada bag and this. I use those three the most and I love this so much. It fits everything you need. I wore this all around Paris and it's just really durable because Louis Vuitton makes their pieces in canvas, not leather, and it's easy to clean. The straps are black, not patina, which is amazing. And um, this has the old zipper. I know they redid the zipper for this year and it's exposed now, so it's easier to unzip, but I don't mind it. It still keeps my things protected. It's a big open pocket right here. The back section I never use, but I can literally fit so much in here and I have a little uh, Louis Vuitton purse charm on it too that I bought in Paris. It's just a little Louis Vuitton um, strap and I keep this little mini pocket unzipped to make sure it kind of drapes like this but I think it looks super cute and unique and I put it on the shortest back strap setting by the way. I took off the extension and I looped it through like this so this sits perfectly on my back. I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with that. I feel like people always put it on a very long setting and it just droops on the lower part of your back. Take off the extension and loop it around the bottom hole and it'll fit perfectly in the middle of your back. The next handbag I have here is the mini luggage and I also showed this in my London haul if you didn't see it already. It is a really nice bag. It's kind of hard to unzip, so that's a downside for sure. But the inside is soft and it's open. You can fit so much in here. But I think if I'm gonna wear this again, I'm gonna get a organizer for it because it's just kind of like an awkward opening and it has to have pockets for me to be able to use this correctly. The shape is just too cool and I love monogram. I like collecting monogram pieces. So this is one that I definitely have to have in my collection. Next up, we have a fanny pack. This is the Louis Vuitton Emprunt Beige Bum Bag. I don't know if it's hard to come by anymore, but it was kind of hard to get when it first launched. Um, I'm sure you can find other colors. I think 
it comes in black. Again, use it so much. I use this and my MCM one interchangeably and I just like how casual bum bags are. So this is one, it has a little thing right here, which I don't really use for anything, but has a little handle. If you want to hold it like that, you can adjust the strap. The back pocket is super useful. It's actually very big. The inside is just fabric, um, suede, and it's cute very easy to open very easy to use i bring this every single place i travel so the last piece i have to share before i go into my slgs from louis vuitton is the nice bb super full so i'm not going to open it but it comes with um two pockets in the front a pocket in the back and then the zipper pocket on the lid it's super cute and i actually use this for makeup but i know tons of people bloggers that use this as a handbag as well which is fine but i feel like it's just structured for my vanity for like a makeup area it's a perfect travel piece i put all my makeup products in here and then i put it inside my luggage and it's just perfectly sectioning off all the places. It's really cute. I use this every single day because I carry my makeup in it and it's a great piece if you want like an everyday display piece on your vanity. Now we have my last few pieces. These are my Louis Vuitton SLGs. Let's begin with this is the mini boite chapeau in reverse monogram which is kind of hard to come by these days but you can definitely call for availability. I think it might be available online right now but this is beautiful. I love this and it comes with a strap and you could put a uh, belt attachment onto it. You can use this as a belt bag if you wanted to but I love this as a crossbody bag. The strap is in the inside right now so yeah, it's just a black strap. It fits everything I need, um, my key fob, card holder, and some cash. I, again, love mini bags, so this is, isn't a problem for me at all. It was a little pricey for what it is, but it's a circular boite chapeau, and these are just expensive in general on Louis Vuitton. It is the perfect summer piece. I love this. Next up, we have some makeup bags. So we have the cosmetic bag and the toiletry bag. I love these. These are just my makeup organizers. Again, I actually keep stuff in here. So this actually goes inside of my tote bags and backpack. Now this one, I usually keep my makeup in here as well. I organize my more everyday pieces in here or if I need to bring some stuff on the go. Again, canvas is something that I, you can be really rough with and easily clean. So I'm not too worried about that. Next Next up, we have some wallets. This is just a little card holder from Louis Vuitton. It has a singular card slot right there, this one in the front, and then the pocket in the back. If it's everything I need, you can also slip something up here if you want to. Super thin, compact. It fits in all of my mini bags except for the mini boite chapeau, but it's perfect. Another one would, of course, be the infamous key pouch. I feel like everyone has this these days, but I bought this online actually when it was still in stock. I don't know, I forgot when, but it was a time where no one was buying them online so I just bought it. it fits everything you need I put all my cards in here it fits so many you can even slip cash in here some people put a lipstick in here um, you can really stretch it out if you want to I usually keep it compact since it's all my keys this is all I bring so this literally just this combination fits in all of my bags second to last piece I want to share with you guys is this really cute coin purse thing um, I don't even know what it's called but it has treated patina it's super special it's a lot thicker and bigger than the original round coin purse but this actually I've used to store my airpods it's perfect for airpods perfect for the original size and the pros you just slip it in there and it fits zip it up attach it to your backpack or your pants or your jeans or whatever or an extension to a purse and it's super cute this is just a really random piece that i bought it was kind of expensive for what it was do i regret it a little bit but i'm happy it's part of my collection so uh yeah here it is and then last but not least the louis vuitton mini pochette and i got this for retail at the louis vuitton store thanks to my essay ruben i love this piece so much it is adorable like look at it it's like the pochette but cute smaller and with a chain and it's just perfect if you're looking for a mini bag or something to organize a bunch of stuff in your bigger bag but I throw in cash in here I could use this as a purse because I honestly don't have that much stuff I throw my key fob my key pouch and then a lip balm and I can just carry this as a little mini purse on the crook of my arm or just in my hand and I think it looks really cute it's just the perfect bag I, I love this nowhere in Europe did they have it and I really wanted to get it while I was a broad because it was just cheaper there but I ended up getting it before the first price increase this year now it's like 340 or 360 maybe anyway one of my favorite pieces ever and definitely in a state a staple piece in any Louis Vuitton collection so if you can get your hands on this definitely get it so that is my whole entire luxury bag and SLG collection thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you guys want to see a part two for my accessories scarves and shoes let me know because I do have a lot of pieces there as well that I love to wear every single day. If you guys have any questions for me down below, please be sure to reach out, comment, or DM 
DM me on Instagram. I'll try my best to reply to all of them. Thank you guys so much again for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye beauties. Second second I'm picking up shifts of work. I'm going hard every quarter I hit the floor. To be remembered like Kobe by 24.